Hi guys, Marks here, Everything Tenere. Yeah, winter is coming. Not really yet, but soon. I still have a few rides left in me before the snow hits and the cold weather. Last year, I actually did ride in the snow, but this year I have taken the decision to not do that because it's such a pain in the ass. Of course, I still have uh, the Anarchy Walls with the studs in them, but they put too much salt down where I live, uh, so it's uh, really salty. And when you ride in really salty conditions on the roads, when it's not just your fresh snow and so on, you know, you need, really need to wash your bike afterwards with a cold degreasing agent or something like that and wash it. And I have no way of washing it, then getting back home without taking it on a trailer because I cannot pressure wash it where I live right now. So. I will not be doing any riding this winter um, as long as it's you know not warmer than let's say three four five degrees and it's dry outside or maybe a bit wet but you know no uh, you know road salt or uh, sand and stuff like that on the roads so this winter i will be making a series of winter maintenance videos so i will do everything on the bike you know servicing it and so on and i will take you with me in the steps i do uh, to you know make my bike set to go for uh, spring next year uh, this will include of course you know changing the oil and oil filter which i already did uh, not too long ago so i might not do that but it will be going through all the bearings checking so everything is okay the chain the sprockets maybe changing my spray uh, chain and sprockets uh, it's starting to wear out but it's it's uh, many many miles left on it so i will see if i do that but all the steps that you might need to take to check that everything is okay also you know servicing the fork and the rear shock you know the rear shock i don't need to open up but the front i need to change uh, the oil or replace the oil uh, change so all my bushings are okay and my oil seal and my dust seal um, and then just removing everything on the bike making sure everything is cleaned you know see so i don't have any rust that starts to build up so i can take care of that maybe you know reroute some cables fix up some cables and the and the bluetooth remote for my terrain command controllers change things up a bit and maybe just maybe i'll be building a real rally tower we will see we will see how much time i have and you know how much uh, resources i could put down on on doing a rally tower because everything costs money right so that you can expect to see from me this winter so no real riding videos but more working on the bike and of course we have some small reviews and installs prior to that as well uh, I'm right now waiting for the Race Torx shift support, uh, which will probably arrive this week, later this week, hopefully. And I'll get that installed uh, on Sunday or next week. We will see, we will see. So we will test that out as well. And hopefully I will be able to, you know, go for some more, you know, gravel runs and then maybe some Enduro tracks and so on with the new tires as well. But the thing that I'm lacking right now, it's time, right? I need time to do all this stuff. And that's the hardest thing to find at the moment. Um, and you probably understand exactly where I'm at, right? You have a family, uh, you know, I'm a stay at home. No, not stay at home, but I'm a, you know, single parent, you know, every other week. Uh, and uh, the other week when I don't have the kids, I'm off in another city at my girlfriend's place. So. Uh, I have limited time to ride, unfortunately, but we will sort that out somehow, some way. So I hope you uh, are looking forward for this <clears throat> series of videos and, uh, you know, you can do the same on your bike, going through these things to make it all ready for the next season. And I envy all you guys that live on the more southern in the southern hemisphere uh, or maybe have a more even you know winter weather and not uh, rain and uh, or not rain but snow 
the slush and all that stuff on the roads and which prohibit us from you know having fun all year round so as as well as you know now in the winter time when it starts to come out you know the the day is shorter and shorter and shorter and you know middle of the winter we just have a couple of hours of daylight so but then again in the summertime the sun pretty much never really goes down so you can ride you know 11 o'clock at night and it's still you know you don't need to use your headlights really but yeah i well i see you later when i do these uh, maintenance videos so stay safe take care and don't do anything stupid cheerios bye bye